Hello everybody and welcome to the Binding of Isaac episode 12. Today we're going to play as Isaac. Uh, just had a pretty good cane run. I'm doing this run a couple hours after recording episode 11. Uh, so I may end up talking about that. So, it's fair warning. You may want to turn this video off if you haven't seen that one yet. Spoiler alert, basically. So I'm doing an Isaac run. Got the D6 as always. And, uh, yeah. Just looking for that item room. Unfortunately, didn't find it right off the bat here, so it looks like we're gonna waste a D6. Probably won't get another chance to reroll. That's okay though. Um, it's not really uncommon for the first floor. Usually, just get that one reroll. Occasionally, you can sneak in a third or a second, but uh, I would not count on it. I, what I will point out right now is that we haven't gotten a sizable amount of keys already. Uh, two keys, not bad at all. Gonna definitely pick that up. And Wrath, Wrath is gonna be interesting. It's not super Wrath, I'm very thankful for that much. So it should be doable, it's just gonna be a matter of time and a bit of patience, patience, I should say. It's gonna keep hurling these bombs at us. Our goal, basically, is to kick them back at him. We can either actually kick them with our body, as such, or we can shoot tears at them. Either way. Works just fine. Kicking is perhaps a little bit more reliable. Occasionally he'll do that to himself. Drops the burnt penny. Not sure if that was random chance or not. The burnt penny gives us 50% chance every time we pick up a coin to also get a bomb. It's a pretty awesome item. Um, I prefer the flat penny myself, but I'm not going to complain. Getting any consumable uh, at this stage is pretty cool. They're all very useful. Having an excess of bombs early on is pretty amazing. And this seems like it's a curse of the lost. Um, so, Mom's Pearl basically doubles our chance of finding soul hearts. I would say it's almost certainly better than Burn Penny, especially because we actually have a good number of bombs going on already. But if I find a sizable amount of pennies, I may want to take uh, the Burnt Penny back for a moment. And I actually think I'm going to go ahead and pick it back up real quick because I think the secret room, uh, I, I'm going to look for the secret room here and if I find it, there's a, there's a very solid chance there's going to be money in it. So, I want to get those those bombs if I can. Okay. So if there's money in here, there is. So yeah, I made a net profit of one bomb and six cents. So, it was a bit of a smart play there. Perhaps a little overly thorough, but I can't complain about how things are going right now. We have a very good amount of consumables, and uh, having to make a choice between trinkets this early on is not so bad. It's not so bad at all. Back to full health here. Again, I am going to pick up that soul heart, but uh, just, just going to wait. Wanted to make sure we weren't going to encounter a cursed room, and we aren't. So gonna have one chance to re-roll here and I'm not gonna re-roll that that is two health up and speed down it's very good item speed down not super ideal I prefer to have base speed essentially but two health up uh, I'm not gonna pass that up no way it's too good it's too good now we could look for that top secret room but what I'm gonna go do first is fight the boss and uh, I may decide to look for him it should be within our grasp to find it if I if I think about it. Duke flies here should not be a big issue. Could use some bombs to hurry it up, but it's not taking too long. So I don't I don't really think that is a necessary use of resources. It wouldn't really be a waste per se. Taking that little bit of damage was not at all necessary. This boss is one of the easier ones you can expect to fight. Uh, early on, so just normal Duke of Flies. I mean, that is that should be no problem. Taking damage is pretty silly. Um, maybe the only thing that's arguably easier is just normal pin, and even then, I would say it's debatable. Uh, so it looks like we may get through this without taking any more damage, which would be nice. You know, half a soul heart that sucks, but it's not the end of the world. And we got another soul heart, so you know, not a big deal. Mom's Pearl, of course, very good trinket. I actually used to not think it was, but if you look at the numbers, it's actually pretty good, so. 
Now, normally I am not a big fan of pageant boy, but there is a chance here if I take it, it will give me just enough money to go to that shop, which would be good. It's a tough call because I don't think pageant boy is a particularly good item, but in this situation, if it gave us enough money to go to the shop, it would probably be worth it. Uh, I don't think it did. Unfortunately, it got very close. Very, very close, but not quite what I need. I believe this is valid. Top secret. No? Okay. Top secret rooms. A little bit strange to find. I believe main principle is they can't be directly adjacent to anything, so... That can be a little tricky. I think it could be right here. Could be wrong. And it is. Red chest. Soul hearts. That's useful. And we're just going to move on to the next floor. So, we've managed to amass a pretty large number of soul hearts and other consumables. Almost certainly going to be able to go to the shop on the next floor, which is pretty cool. Hopefully we find the treasure room a little bit faster and make better use of our rerolls. Alright, bomb and ascent. Definitely gonna go to the shop. No reason not to. Greed can't be on this floor. Found the item room. This room is a little tricky. Yep. Well, not that tricky. One point of damage, sure, but uh, two, that's probably a little unnecessary. And. We're almost done here. Sorry for lack of commentary, trying to dodge. Still not dodging, though. Probably not worth a bomb for a heart. Monster's Tooth summons a Monstro to slam on stuff. You roll that, Lemon Mishap. Does this. It's not very good. I'm gonna move on, try to get some more rerolls accumulated. Just a normal hopper room, no fire or anything, so I'm pretty happy with this room. And again, we're definitely going to go to the shop. No reason not to. Not even the potential for greed. Goat Hoof gives you a speed up. Very happy we came here. The Habit is a great item. Makes it so every time we get hit, we get three charges back on our space bar item. So that's amazing. Um, quite arguably the best item you can get out of the shop. Uh, okay. Speaking of hopper rooms with fire. Well... Looks like we're definitely going to be able to get into a reroll here. If you can get a survivability item of some kind, uh, you can make some pretty interesting things happen with the habit. But if we have a lot of spare health, we can also use it to accumulate some charges. It just has a lot of interesting implications. And it also means you don't necessarily want to get hit, but if you do get hit, and uh, your spacebar item isn't fully charged, it's not the end of the world. Demon baby, pretty good item. Uh, it's uh, shooting familiar, something like a uh, brother Bobby, but shoots automatically at anything that gets too near. I like it, I really do, but I'm not necessarily gonna take it. This boss challenge room would be very nice to get into, but we would have to get down to one red heart. Doesn't matter how many uh, soul hearts we have, but. I'm going to check this spot. I don't know if this is a valid spot because it's adjacent to a boss room. I don't know if that matters or not, but uh, it may. I feel like I should know that, but I don't, so I apologize. This room should not be a huge issue. I'm very, very pleased with this run so far. We got reasonably lucky. Uh, we do still need a little bit of damage. I'm not going to deny that at all. And... Nope. Definitely have another reroll. Okay, no need to be taking this much damage against Gluttony. Gluttony is fairly easy, in my opinion. I need him to start firing his laser. Makes it a little bit easier to just kind of bob and weave around him. There we go, this should be it. Alright. So now we can get back to full health. It does not look like there's going to be a realistic way for us to get down to 
have a heart, so we're just gonna drop that dream. I'm gonna look for the secret room. I suspect we're gonna find it right here, but I've been wrong before. As you can tell. Check right here. No? Well. So, is Demon Baby worth the reroll? Well, we're not gonna get another reroll, so what I'm gonna do, instead of taking Demon Baby, is I'm gonna go fight the boss. And I'm gonna see if we get a deal with the devil. And I'm gonna see if I wanna roll that or not. Um, you know, just I figure uh, this boss is probably not gonna be so hard that I desperately need whatever item is gonna be from the item room. Um, Demon Baby is good enough that I will definitely pick up. It does, you know, I, I like it. I think it's pretty good. I know some people are not huge fans of it, but I legitimately believe it is a fairly strong item. It does a very good job at keeping some pesky small enemies from getting too close to you like spiders and flies and you can use it to just increase your damage a little bit it's you know it's not a game-changing item but it's pretty good and if you end up with an exceptionally slow fire rate you're probably gonna be glad you have it uh, in the case of something like Paul Femus, Dr. Fetus, Brimstone uh, just those items that make you shoot real slow and make uh, make those aforementioned spiders and flies a real pain in the ass so, just normal monstro here, not even a champion. We're getting through him with no real issue. So, the devil room was expected. We'd love to reroll the shot speed. And, hmm, well, we are in an interesting situation. Money equals power. Fantastic, fantastic item. Especially if you can find it early and get a large amount of money accumulated. Mark gives us a spirit heart and uh, some damage, some speed. It's a pretty good item as well. Uh, these are both real good, so it's very tempting to take both and just kind of risk it. And I suspect that's what we're about to do. Because, you know, we've had some real good runs lately. And we just got a health up, so you know. And I'm definitely going to take that Demon Baby. I think Demon Baby is probably worth it. Now, there's a case to be made to check one more spot for the secret room. But there's also a case to be made to save it and try and... Uh, just just try and find an easier secret room in the future but eh, I wish I had one more bomb so I could really justify this because if it was right there I could get into the boss challenge room yeah I'm gonna do this um, yeah okay no idea where it is I mean if I thought about it for a while I could probably figure it out but no real clue and uh, it doesn't matter because we don't have any more bombs anyways this floor will be the last chance we have to go to the shop without any chance of finding greed. Um, so, if we can make that happen, it would be good. But if we can't, you know, whatever. Going to the shop isn't necessarily as appealing now. We're going to have to be a little more scrupulous when it comes to not spending money. You know, saving that money because uh, each cent gives us 0.04 damage. That doesn't sound like a lot, but if you can get up to 99 cents, it's about plus 4 damage up, which is pretty solid. We're hardly what I would say low on health. We're not, you know, out of control with our amount of health, but I would say for the items we got, it was a worthwhile decision. Now, arguing to be made here to check out that shop, see what's going on. Book of Rev, you know, Book of Revelations, pretty good item. It really is a pretty good item. And it's even better when you consider the fact that we do have the habit. But I'm, I, I'm always very, very concerned about giving up the D6 this early. Uh, but a Spirit Generator plus the habit, I mean, that's a pretty amazing combination. It really is. I don't really like the Book of Revelations too much, but if we can get the cash, it may be worth it. It may very well be. We're definitely going to check out that challenge room. No reason not to. It probably won't be too difficult. Uh, we may get some consumables. I may even consider opening a golden chest at this point because we do have a number of keys. It's just a normal chest, but we'll check that out anyways. I would say that was worth it, especially if we can avoid taking any damage. Of course, that's always the goal, but I mean, it was obviously worth it if we could avoid taking damage. So, again, Demon Baby, getting to do some good work here. 
Perhaps hard to notice, but you know. The fact that you don't really have to aim him or anything is pretty automatic and, you know, very obvious passive, I guess. Makes him pretty cool in my eyes. I like him a lot. I think he's a, I think he's a good pickup. Not a great pickup, you know, but uh, I got a decent one. Very tempting to just use these rerolls a little bit more efficiently. Go straight to that boss. And I think that's what I'm going to do. So it's Pestilence. And we also have a Tinted Rock here. Unlikely, but I would love to find the uh, Small Rock. And wow, okay. Small Rock, damage up, tears up, speed down. Great item. Uh, it isn't... It's not cheating, I realize. It's just uh, a little bit of <laughs> finger crossing, basically. Though I, I didn't really have any room to cross my fingers here. Because I've been trying to dodge these bombs. I have to say, Pestilence thus far has been fairly generous. You just need to be kind of cautious of accidentally picking up that small rock because that would leave us real vulnerable to getting hit right now. And of course, Spirit Heart is very welcome as well. I wouldn't expect to get a deal with the devil, but there are some items I would consider taking. Just seems unlikely because, well, for one, it is actually reduced. Uh, if you just had a devil to deal, it's far less likely that you're going to get another one. But it could happen. It's not impossible. As I said, not impossible. Can't reroll the cube of meat. Don't really want to. It's not that bad. Krampus, Krampus, you know, not a big deal. Gonna give us a. Uh, Should have picked up a small rock. Retrospect, but. Not a huge deal. Krampus will give us the lump of coal. Could try and re-roll it into another deal with the devil item. But there are a couple bad deal with the devil items, and lump of coal is honestly pretty good. Um, the exact math on it to go full crazy here is it gives 0.14 damage per frame that it's on the screen, up to a maximum of 150 frames. And since Isaac runs at 30 frames per second, uh, we can deduce that it will last on that it stacks damage up to about five seconds, though you're very it's pretty unrealistic that you're ever gonna have a tear on the screen for five seconds. Still, if it can do that, it will have plus twenty-one damage, which is a lot of damage. Uh, on average, you know, you can probably expect it to be like plus two, plus four, something something in that range, just depending on. So let's grab the small rock, no reason not to. Don't want to re-roll it. Definitely could re-roll it. I think it would re-roll into a item room item, but the small rock is pretty good. It's uh, about as good as a number of item room items that I would pick up, so you know, not a lot of reasons not to. So we still need to make the decision on if we want to take the Book of Revelations or not. It's definitely a possibility for us now. Um, you know, there's a chance it could re-roll into some knife like the compass uh, which is very tempting but it could also re-roll into something not so nice like the notched pickaxe uh, which would be not so good we could just make the decision not to take it but I'm not sure if I want to do that rosary means we're gonna find a lot more Bibles so we need to kinda make our decision on if we want to take uh, book of rev or not sooner rather than later because it's gonna put the uh, Bible in the shop seven times and it will stay there until we choose to buy it essentially so but it has the nice advantage of getting us three spirit hearts it's a pretty good item but I'm gonna re-roll it we get the quarter the quarter is a usually not a great item to find but in our situation it's actually pretty good it's a pretty solid uh, damage increase Pretty much like plus one damage or so. I want to look for the secret room because money equals power. Unfortunately, I seem to be having some bad luck finding the secret room today. There are three different spots it could be, in my opinion. And I don't have three bombs, so. I'm gonna buy this. I guess I'll go ahead and use it. No reason not to. I'm gonna buy the bomb. And I'm gonna say goodbye to the D6. I don't like to do that. But I think 
since we have the habit, I think it's okay. I think it's an okay decision. Again, I don't, I don't particularly believe that the Book of Revelations is a good item. I mean, it's not bad. You might even be able to make an argument that it's pretty great, but I think it's debatable if it's actually straight up better than the 6-9. We are in a really awkward position. What it's going to do for us now is that we're basically invincible unless we find an enemy that does a full heart of damage like those gurgles, for example. And the reason we're invincible is because we're, we're going to get half of the d6 charges back every time we take damage. Half of the Book of Revelation shards back every time we take damage. But in addition to that, we are not in addition to that. Yeah, so we're going to take half a heart of damage. We're going to get effectively have a heart of regeneration. Could buy the ladder for 15 cents. Common argument there that it'll pay for itself. Um, which makes it tempting to pick up. I have, I can't lie. There's a chance that there will be an arcade on this floor, which is a chance I would love to see. Uh, okay, just a normal hollow, which should be easy enough. Another fight where Demon Baby is going to get to do some damage. And we are doing a pretty sizable amount of damage ourselves now. Uh, no doubt about that. Not a huge amount of damage, but a pretty good amount. Health up. Don't want to take this pill just yet, because, well, I don't have any uh, pill modifier, like PhD or the luck foot, so it could be something pretty bad. And if it's something iffy, no, no, notably uh, bad trip. I apologize for that stumbling there, that was weird. Notably bad trip. If it's a bad trip, um, if I get down to a single red heart, it will be a full health. And this, is, of course, is why getting rid of D6 hurts, is we will get items like this, which I absolutely do not want to take, but I just kind of have to leave an item room behind, and that that's painful. That's painful to have to do. It really is. Um, did find an arcade, though, so... We're going to be able to go to the boss challenger, which is really good, or we should be able to, unless the uh, blood donation machine explodes ridiculously fast. And the reason we're going to play this, of course, is because it doesn't actually do damage to us. And it actually kind of benefits us now not to get health. Um, this is the IB bag. Well, you know. Uh... Okay, yeah, so it kind of benefits us now not to get health because we could pick up that Polaroid and get Polaroid invincibility running right now. Which is something that kind of appeals to me a little bit more than Mom's Pearl. Getting a little bit late in the game for Mom's Pearl, I would say. Maybe not. It's debatable, but uh. Health up. Okay, whatever. Guess I can use that Ivy bag. It's probably not super efficient. I don't know what to do now, to be honest. Five hearts, I mean, it, it's pretty debatable, I would say, about what the best course of action is right now. I would personally say getting Polar and Invincibility on is a good strategy right now, but we do have a sizable amount of red hearts. So, is it worth that extra f five to six seconds of invulnerability to give up these red hearts? Very debatable, I would say. Well, it's it's the type of thing you could you could easily prove with a calculator and maybe some paper, but uh, I'm not I'm not going to do that in the middle of a video. So what we're going to do is we're just going to roll on Polaroid invincibility and hope that is not going to bite us in the ass. Get to make some nice money on the side too, which feels to me a great deal. Now, it's probably worth it to play these, but on the same hand, is it? Is it? Because saving money is kind of an awesome thing right now. Because again, it gives us damage. And it gives us damage all the way to 99 cents. I know there's I know there's a lot of uh, people out there who think it stops at like 50 or something, but I assure you, it really doesn't. It goes all the way to 99. We're gonna get the key here. Mostly because the red chest. But, uh, you know, I'm okay with that trade. It wasn't super profitable. Best course of action here is to just not move. 
and then I moved. Still managed to not take damage somehow. Uh, we should go in here, I suspect. Well, you know, it didn't pay out, but it certainly could have, and it didn't cost us anything anyways. Thanks to the Book of Revelations. So, could look for the secret room, but that really has not been working out for us. Hero Fine gives us two spirit hearts. It's very good. Yeah, so looking for the secret room has not worked out for us at all. Though I will say that finding Cursed Room did show us that it's not down there. So it's a little bit more likely we'll find it. I would say we have like a. It's pretty much 50 50 right here, right? So. Let's roll the dice and see if it comes up or not. It did, okay. Well, for three cents, I mean, spending our last bomb to get three cents, that's that's not so worth it. But, there was always the chance we got a good item, like raw liver or something. Or that we just got a, uh, a more sizable amount of money, but that's a risky take. Don't really want to take that half part. Again, Polaroid Invincibility. Kind of the strategy we're riding on now, so... Might as well stick to our guns. Love to get some more orbitals going on here. Cube meat is great. And I will mention that we are definitely getting it to at least the second loop. We'll have the option to get to the third phase in all likelihood. Because we have the book of revelations. But I'm probably not going to take that. Because we will not have the ability to get to the fourth phase. And I don't think the third phase of the cube meat is better than the second phase. Personally. Uh, I do think the fourth phase is debatably better, though, so it's just a interesting little quirk, I suppose. So, Eternal Hearts. Interesting. Don't want to take it just yet, though. Well, it's not a huge deal, is it? Again, we are pretty much invincible against these type of enemies that only do half the heart damage, so not the end of the world if we take a bit of damage. Let us go fight war because we use the Book of Revelations on this floor. He's going to drop a cube of meat, and that will give us the second phase, which is an orbital, but it shoots stuff alongside us. So that's pretty cool. Again, as I always say, it's in the same vein as something like a Brother Bot. Um, but it's also an orbital, so it's actually a lot better than Brother Bot. Um, again, don't really want to take the heart. There's the uh, second phase, as you can see. He's almost happy to see me. That's a little greedy, I suppose, to say. Maybe he's not happy to see me. Maybe he's just had a uh, good day. You know? Got off an hour early. Ah, uh, card. Free access to the shop. Okay. Greed. Sure, not the end of the world. Could give us some money. Could give us a steam sale. That's not really as good as money in our case. Yeah, okay. Sizable amount of money. Can't complain. Umbilical cord is garbage. Uh, I, I explain why it's garbage all the time. Um, needless to say, that was real bad. You're almost better off just not having a drink. It. So we're gonna look for the item room. Okay, spirit heart. Welcomed. No idea how much, how many spirit hearts I have, which is interesting. We'll be able to go to this challenge room because I have enough spirit hearts to supplement my lost red hearts. Uh, is it worth this? I mean, I guess it was literally worth it, but probably not in the grand scheme of things. I, I was doing it basically on the slim hope that it gave us an item like fate or something. That did not happen though, so. So the eternal heart poses an interesting problem. I believe when you take an eternal heart well what I know when you take an eternal heart when you go down on the next floor it'll give you a heart container which is pretty awesome um, or at least it sounds pretty awesome the problem is I'm not sure if it gives you a heart of restoration or not um, and if it gives us a heart of restoration and we don't have a way to deplete that health we will lose the uh, polar invincibility for no real reason I hesitate to turn on a health container, but in this situation, I'm a little bit nervous about it. There's a chance we'll find an arcade on the next floor. A pretty good chance, even, I would guess. I don't, I'm not sure if this is worth it. 
I guess we'll see. Well, nope. It was not. It's kind of a bad decision anyways. Even if that had turned out well, I would say it was probably a little too risky. On average, you could have expected that to pay out equally. And even then, it may have given me a key or something, which would have been not so great. And of course, no reason for me to not go in here. Pills? I have not taken any pills here. Well, tears down and bad trip. Can't say I'm upset about not taking pills this game. Apparently our pill rotation is not very good. Could take this one, but no need, I suppose. Okay. Just gonna bob and weave through here. So yeah, like I said, I hesitate to pass up a health upgrade. Is that triple shot? I think that's triple shot, ladies and gentlemen. It's so rare, I, I, I sometimes forget what it looks like. It totally is triple shot. Okay. So, I just want to clarify something that may seem obvious, but I actually wasn't sure about this myself until fairly recently. Uh, and triple shot just slows your shots down. It does not hamper the damage or anything, and that applies to for quad shot as well. Uh, so I guess, I mean, I feel kind of bad doing this, but I am going to pass on the Eternal Heart here. Tell the pills, so okay. And we'll just take this one with us. Well, I mean, I guess we'll take it. Okay, health down. Jeez, game. We've got really bad pills, jeez. Of course, if I recall correctly, we had some pretty good ones last run. Well, the last one was Kane, wasn't it? So that wouldn't really count. Oh well, I have no idea. Pretty sure last one was Kane. But, you know. Okay. So, it's possible for me to walk in through here without taking damage, but the trick is kind of hard. I'm not very good at it would be fairly low risk, but I'm not sure if I want to play the fortune teller machine. So triple shot's pretty amazing. Um, I don't I don't know if I like talked about it. I suppose I didn't really talk about it because I figured it's uh, pretty uh, pretty clear what it does. So let's just get through this room. I want to be a little focused here because these champions will actually do substantial damage to me. Which is to say, damage I won't just recover. And unfortunately, they both dropped hearts, which not super useful. Library, unfortunately, no D6, so we can't use this to any extent. We did get telepathy for dummies out of the pool. Telepathy for dummies gives you a room of homing shots every two rooms. It's pretty, pretty bad. Um, as I always like to say, homing shots is pretty good, but it's not that good really doesn't break the game or anything. Uh, I like the homing shots passive quite a bit. Is that telepills? Wow, our pills are real bad. We can use these telepills on this floor though, theoretically, to uh, escape the mob fight and check to see if we got a double room. And actually just dropping down to pure soul hearts right now would not be such a terrible thing because that's pretty much what we're rolling on anyways. So, you know. And I feel like we should just go ahead and do the fight. Because, well, unfortunately we got Blue Mon. Fortunately, we did get a uh, Tinted Rock. And we're doing a very sizable amount of damage. I really cannot complain about anything in this run. We're doing quite well on most fronts that I can think of. Except for bombs. Turning down that Burnt Penny apparently was not the best decision I've ever made. Though, I would say it was probably a wise decision to take Mob's Pearl in its place. Still, we are low on bombs. Don't want to take that heart, but I do want to take these soul hearts. I want to take Box, which also gave soul hearts and a health down pill, which does not appeal to me. Love a does not appeal to me. Missing Page does not appeal to me. So we are just going to tell pills out of here. We're going to head. I don't want to go down there yet. Mm. 
and I'll be right back. And we're back. Sorry about that, you guys. Ah, oh, triple shot. Feels so good. It's like the shotgun of tears. I mean, I realize quad shot, you know, it's very similar, but and better, you know, it's it's straight up great. No debate. In my as far as I can tell. Uh and I'm reasonably confident in that. But at the same time, triple shot is so rare. But also really good. So, you know. It's nice to see it. So the reason we teleport out of the mom's fight uh mom's boss fight after it was done is because you can't actually leave but a uh a deal with the devil can spawn there. Little Chad here is going to give us some hearts over a few rooms. It's pretty not helpful unless we get a lot of hearts from him and like a blood donation machine or a demon beggar. In all honesty, I'm expecting him to be fairly useless, but you never know. And I mean, what choice do we have? It's not like I can reroll him. I don't see much point in not picking him up, so... Now, is Greedy going to be in the shop? Um, I honestly don't remember if he's going to be or not. So, is the can... Uh, the candle. The candle is so good. But, in our situation, I think I'm going to pass on it. Weird decision for me. But I feel like our build... Uh, it's kind of built in a way that the candle would not really be well utilized. And then, I mean, that's at least partially a skill issue. But it's the truth, so you know. And we did get a deal with the devil. Glad I finally get to show this off. So, we could just go straight to Spirit Heart mode here, and that is probably a good idea. I don't know, though. I mean, if we're going to take Horror Babylon, you know. Fuck. Let's just do it. So, I don't know how Brimstone works with Triple Shot. I would guess it does nothing, except maybe make it take Lauren to charge. That, that's my preliminary guess. We are going to be doing some Brim Snapping, so, you know. If you don't like to see exploiting, this is not the series for you, in all likelihood. That is, that is what I like to do on this series, and I've done it a number of times in a variety of ways. It's actually not worth it to go to the cursed rooms anymore. Well, I mean, it, I don't want to say that, um, but I mean that in the way that we don't necessarily need to go to the cursed rooms anymore, and it's not free, so... Brimstone, getting to do a lot of damage here, even though I keep forgetting to Brimstone. Probably would have one-shot Gertie, Gertie J if I had snapped. Brimstone is a glitch named after Biznap. And you basically just tap your keys after you begin firing. And it'll look like you're firing downwards, but that's just part of the glitch, I guess. Um, typically, Brimstone takes twice... But Brim Snapping will make it tick somewhere between two and five times, so pretty straight damage increase. As long as you line it up right. And it usually increases the range as well. Well not the range, the like the area it can affect, just because it seems to fire for slightly longer. And we're just gonna go ahead and do the boss. I don't see much reason to stick around this for. Now we have the interesting decision. Um, do we want to give up our only orbital to pick up the third level? Q of meat. I would say no, personally. That's just me, though. Uh, so we're not gonna, because there's no chance we're gonna get the fourth level. Wasn't much point in exploring that floor. Library would not really do us anything great, and there was no chance there was gonna be an arcade, so. Uh, argument to be made, I should have done it anyways, just because I probably could have gotten through it fairly easily. But, you know, I don't I don't regret my decision at all. Could use flying. 
kind of unlikely we're going to find it now. But I would love to see it. Okay. So every time we get hit now, and I guess this has been true for a while now, but it's very clear now because, well, we have nothing but soul hearts. Not worth it. Uh, every time we get hit now, we're going to get seven seconds of invincibility, which is pretty damn good. And we are just destroying these rooms. We got the womb as well, which just makes us all overkill. Poor Babylon, by the way, since I picked it up and didn't explain it, gives us a speed up, damage up, but only if we're at like half heart or less. So obviously, synergizes very well with our spirit heart only build. Okay, let's go in here. Yeah, nothing I can really do here. Could play those guys. Might be worth it, you know. But I'm uh, not going to. Now we have to make the decision whether or not to go to Satan. Or, you know, what floor to go to after Mom's Heart. I think we're probably going to make it past Mom's Heart. Again, I don't like to toot my own horn here or anything, but I feel like this run is going pretty well. And it, Mom's Heart really shouldn't be a big issue. At least I don't think so. Um, Satan, I think, would be pretty much definitely doable. Whereas I think the Cathedral is definitely within the realm of possibility. Uh, I shot a little bit too soon there. I think the Cathedral is definitely within the realm of possibility. So, skipping it seems a little bit cheesy. A little bit weak, perhaps. Let's go. Let's, let's do it. Might as well... This run isn't bad. I mean, it's not the best setup for killing Isaac. It's not bad. Um, this kind of slow fire rate with high damage is actually pretty great. It's pretty ideal, actually. Much better than the opposite. The opposite is fucking impossible. Um, so, in that regard, things are going pretty well. And, I mean, we can just we can blow through a lot of these rooms very quickly if I can just line up one solid shot. Which I probably should have done on this room. But, you know, whatever. I suspect we are going to be getting one more shot here from a kill. I think we can probably make it past Isaac. Uh, we have 24 hits of damage we can take. 23, I guess. And each one's going to give us 7 seconds of invincibility. So that's that's quite a bit of invincibility. I'm, I'm not even counting the soul hearts we have off the screen. Because I, I really have no idea how much that is. Could be several. Could be not several. And, uh, yeah. The demon baby getting to do some damage. Getting to do some good damage, for sure. Obviously, the scare here is kind of a lack of sustainability. You know, we're not gaining a lot of spirit hearts. Good telepills. Don't really see the point, though. Just seems riskier than necessary. Now, what I could do, and it's a little risky to do, but I could go into that cursed room and telepills out. Especially since I have this Polaroid invincibility. Well, that was definitely not a bad decision. Okay, that worked out pretty well. Made a net profit there. I'm gonna pick up these telefills. I suspect we're not gonna need them, but you never know, I guess. Could end up saving us a little bit of time. Unlikely, but you know, certainly possible. Well, that was a more impressive dodge than I care to say. Mostly because I'm not sure if it was visible about... Uh, I'm not sure if it was visible how impressive that dodge really was. It was very close to getting hit. So, these uh, little sacks and guts and things you can just run into freely. No idea what this is. So I'm going to take it and lock up. Okay, whatever. Not a big deal. Let's go fight Isaac. So I'm just going to try and snap here. Wow, we are doing more damage than I thought we were. Though I totally messed up that shot. Which is bad for business. Looks like we are less than 10 shots from kill here. Um, very slow fire rate, of course, but incredible damage. And I, I think we're going to get through this without any problems. So I'm very glad we went this route. It does seem like I keep messing up the occasional shot, but as you can see, if I actually get the shot down right, it does a ton of damage. Absolutely ridiculous amount of damage. 
So Isaac himself is dead. We are down to just babies. And that is that. Is that. We are going to the chest, ladies and gentlemen. I honestly was not expecting this from this run. I'm not complaining. Odd Mushroom, Guardian Angel. Miss Boom. Boom. Not really interesting. Ghost Baby, might as well take him. Guardian Angel, might as well take it. Odd Mushroom is more debatable. Not sure if the might. I think the tears increase would probably be fairly minor. But it would reduce our damage somewhat, so. It's a bit of a tough call. Since I didn't explain how brimstone works, um, I'll take the chance to do that right now since this room doesn't seem too hard. Brimstone triples your damage output and reduces your tier rate by about two and a half times. So it is a net increase in DPS, but it becomes much more noticeable as you get more damage. Like, incredibly noticeable. Um, you know, I've got probably close to plus three damage now for my money equals power. And, you know, I'm, I'm not sure exactly how the formula lines up for this, but you could roughly say that's plus nine damage, which is crazy. Uh, and, of course, you know, you get the brim snapping on top of that, and it's pretty amazing. This room kind of scares me a little. Hopefully we don't get hit again. Okay. Yum heart. Well, you know, whatever doesn't benefit us at all because we don't have any art containers. Okay, this room should not be a big deal as long as I just weave into that matrix. Yeah, I was hoping I would kill those guys. Oh well, I think we may be getting it done. Gotta say, our uh, shot familiars here are doing pretty good work. Can't complain. Cannot complain at all. I'm very, very surprised about this run. Uh, we've been getting a lot of wins lately. Uh, which, uh, spoilers, you know, I didn't mention it at the beginning of the video. Didn't really come up until the very end, though. We've been getting a lot of wins lately, it seems. Uh, which I am not upset about. Could just be luck. Could be some improvements in play. If I had to guess, it's probably a mixture of both. Um, you know. I, I would definitely say my play has gone up a bit since I started doing these commentaries a couple weeks ago now. Or, you know, like a week ago, I guess. I, close to two weeks. Blood Bank, really, I mean, doesn't matter to me. And, uh, yeah. Because I've gotten, like, I get to kind of think about my actions a little bit more. And uh, just having to explain what every item does and my desire to be accurate in those explanations has made me a little bit more knowledgeable about the items and how they function, I would say. I mean, I guess you guys don't really have a reference point for that because, like, I haven't been making videos the entire time I've been playing Isaac, so... But just take my word on that if you want to, I guess. Up to you. So, obviously, we're just looking for Blue Baby here. So we can wrap this one up. Not to sound too cocky, but it does seem a little bit unlikely that we're going to lose this one at this stage. We seem to have a lot of health. Still no idea how much health I actually have. Um, and a pretty good amount of damage. Not, again, not the highest damage I've ever seen, but pretty respectable damage. No complaints about the damage. And damage is one of those things I will definitely complain about. You can watch a number of the videos I have. Uh, and, and lack of damage is a common problem and one I do not hesitate to complain about. I really cannot overstate the effectiveness of this Book of Revelations uh, habit Polaroid combination along with just running on those spirit hearts. It is pretty good very very def powerful defensive combination if we picked up the wafer we would be literally invincible which would be an interesting turn of events I mean we literally couldn't lose at that point damage irrelevant basically so that would be interesting but I don't think we need that at this stage but I'm real glad I didn't go for Satan I guess I kind of when I said go to Satan. I wasn't really sure about how much damage we were doing because, you know, I'd only fairly recently gotten Brimstone. 
But realistically, we could have killed Isaac in like six worm snaps if I had lined them up appropriately. So, I mean, that's that's just silly. And it looks like we're going to have to do all the chests here, and I'm still not really losing a great deal of health. You know, it's, it's just not just not happening. Uh, and here we are. I'm just going to run right in there. No need to waste any time on this. Yep. Blue Baby, I believe, does have a little bit more health. Though we do have Guardian Angel now to back up our defenses as well. So should be running in there to get a little bit of uh, contact damage, and I might as well just stay in now. I guess I should be firing that brimstone. But every time I take a hit, I should definitely be getting in there and getting that contact damage going. That is certainly the most efficient way to do things. A little bit hard to keep track of my brimstone being charged, because it just it takes a while to charge. Of course, at a very worthwhile cost, I would say. Um... So, it looks like we're going to get through this. Very unlikely that Blue Baby is going to be alive for 70 seconds to cut through all my invulnerability. Still have no idea how much health I have, by the way, which is just ridiculous. And so, that wraps up another video. This is going to be the last video I record today on August 7th. Been a surprisingly lucrative day. Two victories. Very happy with that. Of course, won't be seeing this video until August 8th, but still... Uh, it's been a it's been a good day, and uh, yeah. If if you haven't seen the second, if you haven't seen the previous video, I've I've kind of already spoiled it, but I would kind of recommend checking it out anyways. I would say it's probably a better video than this one, but still, hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. If you made it this far, uh, consider leaving a like. It really helps me out a lot. Don't want to beg or anything, but I just thought you know toss that out there. And uh, peace. Thank you.